YouTube and welcome to an AM Details weekly vlog where we have this discovery in a Sepang Blue Audi RS3, a Volvo V50, the fish get a big massive overhaul and all the other day-to-day -day stuff that happens here at AM Details and you can see it all straight after this. Alan at AM Details here and welcome to the weekly vlog. If this is one of the first time you've checked out our videos, then we do videos like these, car care vlogs, Q&As and how to's. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of them, then please do remember to subscribe and why not hit the little bell notification as well so that you get emails every time one of these drops. This is a weekly vlog, I've told you what's coming up, so let's jump straight into it. Enjoy! Good. Morning. I'm not entirely sure if you can tell because of that clear sky, but it is freezing this morning. It's like minus two when I drove in. And it's the start of a big week, so let me sort this out. Oh, definitely get this clicked. And get this on. And I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Oh, and also as I bring you back to the weekly vlogs, yes, the laundrette still runs here at AM Details. <laughs> and we best say good morning to these guys. Morning dude, how are you all? Light on. How y'all getting on? Come and feed you guys in a wee bit. Hello, welcome to the front of the shop. It's been a while since I've been in here. I'm here because we don't have uh, Jimmy today. It's just gonna be me and Scott. So I'm just gonna get all the stuff done at the front here, get them processed, get the orders done. And then it's me and Scott on with a protection detail today. Sweet, so I'll probably see you when Scotty comes in. Orders are finally done. The time is now 20 past 10. I know, it didn't take me that long to do all the orders. It's just we've already had two walk-ins and a booking. Manic Monday has definitely started. Let's go see what Scotty's up to. On the detailing side of things, we have this V50 in for a protection detail today. And it looks like that is Scott just rinsing off the two bucket method. So I'll be able to help him now with the decontamination. We can't work out what's going on today. This morning, it was frozen. And now, it is glorious weather. And we're having to watch for chemical drying out on the cars. What is going on, Murray? I'm sure it was the same last week in the last vlog as well. Cheeky. I'll show you guys a little trick for that. AM details, tip of the week. Not entirely sure if the camera's picking up, but there is tar in between the gaps on the front bumper and the arch. A couple of little tricks for that. The first one is you'll get a tar remover in there. So we will switch this from spray to stream and then get it in there. Leave that for a couple of seconds. Then go at it with a microfiber edge. I am trying to do this one handed, so bear with me, but just fold over the microfiber like this and I've primed it with tar. Pop it in there. And agitate. Ta-da! There we go guys. Tar removed. Decontamination complete. It's time for the final no foam and rinse. One o'clock, just about to bust to lunch, but first we need to get the glaze on, off, and then the seal on so that we can get the timing correct. And now that's off, you can probably just see it guys. AM seal is on, and we're just waiting on it drying. Biggest problem ha people have, excuse me, with seal drying times is the over application. One little spritz in an applicator should easy cover a bonnet, guys. The first coat is to lock the glaze in. The second one is your protection. 
And as you can see, we're just cleaning up the wheels, ready for wheel wax whilst waiting on that drying. So whilst we wait on them drying times, whoa, ho, 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 into the office. I'm gonna go and prepare to do all the Facebook stuff as tonight I'm gonna shoot a Facebook Q&A once that car leaves. Okay, stop stopping the vloggy thing. <laughs> this is really a manic Monday. Check this out. I don't really know how to work it out in timey time thing, but today is 27th of February. That's Monday, the 27th of February. Right now, I am filming this for you. And I've just had a phone call. That's right, phone call from Andy, oh, say telling me that in two of the stores, they've sold out of the AM Details range already. Now let me try and somehow explain a little something for you. Here is a very basic calendar. This is today, Monday the 27th. Autosave picked up their order on Friday the 24th. I have a vlog waiting to drop on the 2nd, telling everyone that you can buy it from the 3rd. Yep, one, two, three, four days before the launch date, Autosave have already sold out and asked for another 15 of everything. Which is fantastic news! But Jamie's away on holiday, we were waiting on labels arriving, and we still have the floating stocks. We have like online stocks, so you can see we've got plenty of dress, plenty of wheels, plenty of APC, all them bits and pieces. But trader stock, we're a little low on, so guess what I'm doing this afternoon? And as you've seen just out of shot, David has just been round on a hero effort and dropped off the labels. Let's go! Time is now! Whoa, 20 past four and that is Scott finished the Volvo. Top job that man. We've just wheelie really stooled it and done the pictures. So now we're just waiting on the customer. It's time for me and Scotty to run back upstairs now and crack on with that chemical order. So hopefully we can sort out auto save and get it to them tomorrow. That's it. I'm done. I'm checking out. Just gone five past six. Me and this guy have been shooting the Facebook QA. I'm going to very quickly dive it onto the Mac and start processing it. But that will be it, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao. Good morning. It's Tuesday, the 28th, the last day of February. Where did that go? Put us breakfast in the microwave. What is happening today? Well, I have a mental briefing at four o'clock, so we'll have to shoot off a little bit early. We have an Audi RS3 coming in. I will have to go and pick that up, so I might take you guys with me. That is in for G-Technic and the full Total Surface Crystal Serum Shebang. And, breakfast ready, and I'm trying to get the autosave order done and dusted before Jamie arrives so that I can get that there today. Wish me luck. One Audi RS collected. Back to AMD. And here we have it. The next car in at AMD Tales. A Sepang Blue RS3. the RS inside after it's wash and decontamination. But while Scott was doing that, I was very quickly finishing the autosave order and ta-da! I got it done. Not entirely sure how good that looked because of the lighting, but let's go. Time is now half past 12. I've finished at the gym and now it's time to go and drop off the deliveries. Now I know we have distributors and people that sell the chemicals, which is excellent. But that's the first time I've walked into a store and seen our stuff on the shelf. It's Ace. All right, back to the unit. Okay, so where are we at? Car is inside on the ramp. Wheels are ready to come off. Customers coming in at two o'clock and we've just done a very quick paint survey. Hopefully the camera picks this up, there's actually quite a bit of wash marring and just rub damage here. And there's definitely been some bodywork stuff going on here at the rear. Catch that little wet sanding or a bit of marring. And here and there. That's one area to address. If I turn all the lights out, you can then see it a lot better on the camera. All this wash marring. 
on the bonnet and it's pretty much the same down both sides guys so time to see if we can find a single stage that will make this look better I've it might be enough that the customers happy with and that's perfect if not then we may be upgrading this one to an enhancement which to be honest may not be ideal as we've also squeezed in a brand spanking new discovery and the customers just emailed me about that the tow bar hasn't been fitted yet so it may be delayed in getting to us this week we really didn't need to be doing some overtime but it might end up happening I'm also cutting it a bit tight tonight drops the Facebook Q&A and this is it finally doing its export encoding thing 12 minutes to go and then the internet that we have here at AM Details, it'll probably take about an hour to get it on YouTube. <laughs> Give me fibre. The time is now 25 past 3. And as we can hopefully see, one door is full of basic wash marring. And this door is looking pretty good after its single stage. There is if you can just see it, but probably not, just how this camera works. A bit of random in there, just above the light now. Apart from that, pretty good. So we went through a white polishing pad and white rupees polish actually initially, but found that wasn't enough bite. So then we upped to the yellow pad and tried the white polish, didn't really work. So then moved to our old faithful with these tougher paints, which is Minzerna 2500. And on this one, it's a little bit of a slow, long process when it comes to the polishing. So we start off nice and slow, move it around, buzz it up to about four on the machine, do about two hashtags, that's going up and down and left and right, that's one hashtag, so we do that twice. And then we like to slow it down and just do a little finishing down about one hashtag, and that is what's given that that you are seeing there. So pretty good for a single stage. It's good pace, Scott's managed to do, since we got inside and chatting to you on this vlog, two doors and a rear bumper. I've managed to do the front bumper and one door as we had the customer come in and I've been doing a couple of inquiries. But I have to shoot off. Bye, Peppy. I have a meeting at four o'clock. Scott's gonna crack on and I will be back to pick up Peps and debrief you guys afterwards. Good. Morning! It's Wednesday, the 1st of March. And as you can see, we're already well underway. Scott with the machining, and we have Jamie back. And he's currently going through your orders. Some stickers for a recent sponsor. And we've also got Peppy in. Say hello to the internet, Peppy. Time is uh, half past nine, with it being the first of the month. That's me just got through all the stuff that happens, people sending you statements and all that sort of stuff. So they are all now logged on the computer. What is going to happen is I'm now going to go out, help Scott finish that RS3, and then we have a car coming in for a gold ballot today. And fingers crossed, if Range Rover are finished with it, the new Discovery will arrive as well. The GTI is here. Time to get this gold ballot underway. Sure enough, whilst washing down the Golf, the new Discovery has arrived. So once we've got the golf done, we'll get that one started. It's all go. And William's just been, which means, tea break time. But me and Scott are doing strategic sun chasing. It's not as warm as it looks out there, but the sun comes into the unit just that much. So if you sit in it, you get the heat without the wind. Cheers. And we've pulled the Discovery inside as we're gonna get started on this one tomorrow. The RS3 is completely ready for coatings now and we've machined all the faces of the alloys. They had marring on them for where they'd been strapped down onto a trailer and we found it easier to machine them on the car. So these are gonna come off, sort the brakes, sort the bell area, get these coated and get the wheels coated and then pop them back on. Good 
Martin. It's Cotton's day today, so I'm going to be inside coating this one up and doing its wheels. And Scott is outside with the new discovery. Morning, Fash. We weren't hoping to get started on this yesterday, but we never managed to. So Scott's going to give it the cleaning down. We'll get inside blow dried and then inspect it. Oh, and by the way, the time is like quarter past eight and Jamie is on fire and already battering through your orders. Past four. I know. I know. Been a little delayed. So what's happened? Well, that is crystal serum on the car. And if you can see just over here, Discovery has been washed in, dried, and inspected. Scott has taken the wheels off after machining the faces earlier on the car, cleaned, and is now coating them up with G-Technic C5. And then it's on to the calipers, cleaning up the discs and cleaning up the center pieces getting them all coated as well. So while Scott is working on those areas, I am now gonna go and exhale the RS3. And whilst we are carrying on with the cars, Jamie is doing a hero effort, coming back after his long weekend off to get the products stocked back up, as we appear to be having a lot of new distributors get on board. Time is now seven o'clock. And we have fish tank dug in. Oh, this is really weird doing it from this angle, Doug. <laughs> and he's currently cleaning up the tank and just checking her over to see that the fishies are all okay. And in our recent Q&A, which I will put up here, it should hopefully pop you out, you know, with the ding, ding. Donna Henderson was the first question. She asked about using AM rain on the top hood of the fish tanks. Would it be okay? And would it actually be of any benefit? Well, first of all, Dougie has been having a think and we're not even entirely sure AM rain would be of any benefit, as yes, it does repel the water and keep it hydrophobic on your windows, but there would actually be no wind pressure in the hood. So there would be nothing to stop the moisture building up or getting clear of it, and then where would it go? So you would still generate the algae buildup that is common on the top of your fish tanks. And on a fishy health and safety point, You've always got to be worried about leach back or leaching, where the water and the chemical, you know, the a chemical might absorb into the water on the hood and then possibly get into the fishy tank. There must be a reason why tanks haven't already made a product like that. But if for whatever crazy reason you want to have a go at doing it, then some top tips Doug gave us was put charcoal in your filter. Anything else, Chief? No, try that, see if that works. Pop some charcoal in and that's pretty good for absorbing any nasty chemicals that may or may not get into your water. Ding! But as a cheeky side note, AM glass is brilliant on the exterior. These guys all think so. So we hope that helps. Fish Tank Doug has just asked how long I'm staying and it is gonna be a long one so it's time to do some rescaping of the tank. I'll keep you guys up to date on how that looks. So let's click this one and then give you guys a brief on what's happening tonight. There you go, sir. Yeah, Tractors buddy. for the money. Cheers, my man. So the plan is, <clears throat> Doug does the fish tank. I'm gonna get the wheel areas done and get them rebuilt display the RS, and then see what I can do in Discovery, hopefully get the bonnet done, and then front arches. Plus, it's freebie Friday tomorrow, guys, so I need to get that survey set up as well. Time is now 20 to 11. Doug has done some fishy landscaping. It's looking pretty cool. I'll give you guys an update on how this looks in the morning. And the RS is there, coated, rebuilt, Coated, 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 coated. So we've just got to sort out how we're displaying it tomorrow as there's going to be some funky switching action between this and this. And I managed to get the freebie Friday survey done. 
I'm going to link the description down below. It will be a link to the survey sort of entry page, guys. And if you guys want to check it out, I think all we do is ask you to share a video that I launch on each platform via Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I will find a way of doing a dedicated YouTube competition, and I'll bring that to all you YouTube viewers. But for now, if you want to enter the Freebie Friday, the link is in the description below, and I will try, if it works, to make it pop out there. But it depends, because sometimes YouTube doesn't allow it. And that's it. That's going to be us for today. I'll see all you guys tomorrow. Ciao. Good morning. Well done, Douglas. Guys, how good is that? We've gone for like a little rockery over here this time. Joined together in a little wooden cave zone down here. Fish seem to be loving it. I genuinely thought that that cool little bridge was going to get knocked off by the bigger fish, but it's withstanding. Really, really nice. So the time is uh, quarter to nine. I've already filmed the freebie Friday that will be dropping tonight, and we've already switched the cars around. So the RS3 is now at the front. Scott's doing the finishing touches, tires, glass, and just cleaning up this little grill area at the front. And I am starting to get the equipment ready to look for a stage to get the bonnet and arches finished on the Discovery. And the reason I'm needing a different combination is these are heavily marred, as you can see here, and also on the bonnet. Not entirely sure if this camera will pick it up though, because this really, really nice color is actually super good at hiding stuff. I mean, look at that flake. It's lovely. But then I think we just seen, did we, a glimpse of, yeah, we've got some mar in here. And then over here, there is some deeper stuff. But that's it, bonnet is done. <laughs> As you may have seen in that time lapse, the phone went quite a few times, we had to go back and forth. And I was chasing a little area in the middle here, but we managed to get it. What's been happening in between now and then? Well, the time is now 10 past 12. The RS3 is finished. We've just pictured and we stooled it. Ooh, we definitely need to get something like this as a company car. Look at that. So now me and Scott are gonna go around, single stage in this one, and then get it coated. And whilst we were doing that bit of machine and some other bits and pieces, the Freebie Friday has dropped for March's episode. Time is now quarter to five, and the Range Rover is sitting pretty. Just got a little bit to do here that we've noticed, but I will get this one finished up tomorrow. And as it is Friday, nearly five o'clock, and we are super keen to go home and have the weekend, I think I'm gonna call that one it. I will be in tomorrow, and I'll get some coating done on this, but we will return and see you guys on the Monday, as fingers crossed, we'll let you know how the editing goes and how the timetable is, but this could be the return of the weekly vlogs that I'll now drop on Thursdays, guys. So hopefully you're enjoying it. And if you have, then in the description down below, let us know, me and Dan can't wait to hear from you guys. We love reading all the comments down below and the whole team really get a buzz from reading them and seeing it when you share this content with all your friends. So without further ado, that's it. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you wanna see more content like this, car care vlogs, Q and A's, and the soon to come how to's, then over here you will see a circular AMD logo. Click that to subscribe. And why not tick the little bell notification as well so you get the emails. And over on this side will be two videos chosen from our library or friends of AMD Tales. And we'll see you there. Ciao.